Welcome back to Friday Night Football. It is our pleasure to return to the set now for the second time in two years, the St. Mary's Crusaders, who we visited with a year ago, just on the brink of a winning season. Well, folks, they've taken great care of that this year. Seven and one going into their final game against Aetna tomorrow. Jamie Young, the head coach of the Crusaders. Welcome back to my right. I've got Glenn Alvarez, uh, Calvin Roberts, and Dan Levins, who are seniors and been four years through this journey. And coach, what do you think about these guys and what they've done and how they've turned things around? Uh, they're a big part of our success. Um, you know, we, uh, we were in a position where we didn't have a lot of tradition. Um, uh, there's some tradition from in the past, but the, recently uh, we've been struggling and we really needed some kids to step up and, and buy into a new system and stick it out and, and help recruit other kids on campus. And, and these three guys are a big part of that process and, and have done a great job in their four years there. You arrived when they did and became the head coach their sophomore year. Glenn, that was the year that the program suspended during the season. That had to be kind of the down point. Uh, talk about hitting that low point, but what it took to, to convince yourselves that you could come back and be where you are today. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, mean, I mean, our freshman year, I mean, it was a, it was a pretty you know, sad season, you know, with every loss, you know, and then especially sophomore year, where like in the middle of our season, we just, we just stopped, you know? And I remember um, after one of the practices, all our team gathered in our locker room and we discussed if we should continue practice, even if our season's over, right. just, just keep, you know, keep going, you yeah. know? And uh, we tried, but you know, with school stuff and going on, it's like, okay, but uh, we, uh, we, um, we, we still have more meetings, you know? The and will was there. Exactly, exactly, and uh, in the end, here we are. Calvin, yeah. Calvin, talk about that junior because last year you guys played for a winning season to the final game of the season and made a huge turnaround from that sophomore year. Well, we'd put a lot of work in from my uh, sophomore to junior year, so being able to see some of that pay off really helped to inspire working even harder in the off season for the senior year. And Dan, your family played in the 70s when St. Mary's was the premier football school in the, in the small school state. So this has got to be a great moment of pride for you and for all of yours involved. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, my dad won two state championships at St. Mary's, so I guess I had kind of a lot to live up to. But uh, I think the progress that we've made in the last four years is worth more than a state championship. Your dad probably squashed Sacred Heart in the 77 quarterfinals along the way. That I was on the short, short end up, but uh, <laughs> congratulations on that great turnaround. And what do you attribute, Coach, this year? You're beating teams that beat you last year. They really turned the corner in a big way. Yeah, I mean, I attribute a lot of it to our senior leadership. You know, we're heavy on seniors this year. And, um, you know, these three guys and, and uh, uh, nine other kids on our team that have bought into our system, have worked out hard in the off season, and, and have really wanted to be a part of turning this program around. And, and that really is the key. You know, we're doing the same things that we were doing uh, two years ago when I took over. It's just that now we have some kids that, have, that understand what we're trying to do and, and believe in it, and, and they're trying to get other kids involved with it. And so uh, it's not that we've done anything really different this year. It's just it takes some time to, to put it together and, and as, as these kids mature and, and, and get a little more uh, understanding of what we're trying to accomplish on the field, then we get things done. Probably the most important thing is, though, that these guys are, are as good as football players as they are. They're, they're even better young men. And, and, uh, and you can build a program when you've got good young men. These, these lessons they've learned are going to carry on in life. I wasn't a big fan of the Crusaders about 30 years ago, but I am now. <laughs> and continue. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight, you guys. And congratulations on a great story. We've got to take a quick break. We'll be back.